Warning! This show may include words and ideas that some people may find offensive. Opinions given in this show are those of the presenters. This may or may not be in line with the values of Roller Snakes. Sorry, not sorry, but really sorry. Or not. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, whenever you're watching us. My name's Ford Brookfield, joined to the left by my trusty co host, Toby Bachelor. Hello. And today we've got a, a very special uh, episode on the go. Um, something we didn't think were going to happen, but you know. <laughs> Lord so, Div. Uh, yeah, might as well Lord just. Lord Div. Let's just cut straight through the, <coughs> let's cut straight through the, uh, the crap here. We've got Lord Div. Right, over to gone. the left yeah. he's all right the yeah. big legend there lord div who, who, who came up with that lord div first who fucking was, was on the anti-hero trip in, in uh, new zealand that yeah. one yeah lord div and they were all chanting stuff in the in the vans and the girl also said something like he, he cured retardation with a single thought and then everybody <laughs> went lord div <laughs> And it was all mad stuff like that oh, covering no. it, and then it's just stuck, really. Oh, man. <laughs> Pretty nuts. <laughs> you know what? There's a lot of people in skating that I've obviously never met, but how good would it have been to make Grosso? Oh, man. Yeah. Fucking Grosso. Was, big he, law, was he good going on trips with him? And that? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I used to skate with him in, um, in California when I was over there. I used to call him the daywalker because he had fucking brown hair and a ginger beard. <laughs> <laughs> he used to hate that. <laughs> yeah, Man, he's, rad dude. He's so sick. Very cool, very cool. I don't think he was in Copenhagen 2017 when... Well, no. I said this story the other day. So me and Div met in Copenhagen 2017, but I met Div, but Div didn't meet me. Yeah, because right. they were all just kind of like <laughs> slumped in a ditch at Fallenden Park. But um, nice. yeah, that was when like Ger and Beres and Piso were all in the same, um, all in the same hostel as us. And it was just, it was just ridiculous because I walked down to the bar to get like a, to get like a drink and Ger was just kind of stood there. And he's like so, he's like small and shy and he doesn't drink, does he, Go anymore, it, does he? Maybe he just has an odd can, it's just, yeah. oh, he's just got a roll on it. He so looks like quite a rad dude to hang out with. Yeah, he yeah, he's amazing. Funny as fuck. And I like, I put my arm around him and I was like, you gotta come to the, to the room and say hello to the guys. And like, I text in the WhatsApp group and I was like, I'm gonna knock on the door and just, I'm not gonna tell you who I'm with, but everyone's gonna be stoked and we like, I like walked in and opened the door and Gary just walked in dead, like socially awkward, just like, what's up guys? <laughs> and then, you know how I said about the dildo story? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was stuck to the mirror and Gary like walked straight up to it and he was just like, grabbed it and he was smacking it on his head and he like rested it on his head and he's, and he's like, I'm a dickhead, I'm a major dickhead. <laughs> and he got like, our mate Adam got a Polaroid picture with, um, with him with like, with the dildo, sat flat on top of his head and I got one at the side and obviously the dildo's sticking this way and his nose is just huge and it, just, it was just amazing. But where Where is that dildo now? The dildo, I'm, I think my mate Callum has still got it. He oh, bought it with that inheritance sick. money. What, did he got it in Copenhagen? We bought and it. And then bought it back you in. You know when you were talking about the fist fucker fun 5,000 dildo yeah, yeah. that you've seen? That's how that story came up. And yeah, I think he's still got it. I think it's, it's in his room. I don't know if he's ever used it on himself or anyone else. Savage. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's kind of early for major dildo talk. For right, major but... dildo talk. <clears throat> do you want to? Do you want to start how we usually start, or since we were talking about, you know, Grosso and Antero, and shall we? And dildos. I don't know. Just, we... Like, we just let's just have a chat. You know, it's not. It doesn't have to be too. Yeah. Well, it? Yeah. Um, how did the antihero thing come about? Yeah, that's super. Uh, how, how did I get on there? Yeah, like what was fucking hell? That was. Um, I forget the name of the fucking distribution. I don't know, I forget the name of it. Somebody used to do all the deluxe stuff. I think it was like a North, North England distribution and I got one package off them. I didn't get any anti-hair boards. Yeah. Just, I got real boards. Daryl Stanton with Bush, is it, uh, what's, what's the little dude's name for Ghetto Boys? Fuck nice. You know the little midget guy, fucking, what's his name? Bush Brick Bell or something, I can't remember, but it was him oh, on uh, there on the hospital bed. Pancho? No, no. You know the Ghetto Boys, the, the hip hop. Nice. Is it All fucking right. those guys? I can't remember. But it was that was that graphic, Daryl Stanton graphic, and then that whole company went out of business. And then next thing you know, I got a phone call for Foz. Yeah. Yeah. He told me that it went under and said, uh, he says, I know, Dev, I want you to skate for heroin. 
but I don't. I want you to skate for anti-hero, man. So I'm gonna fucking phone SF, phone Jim, and try and get that hooked up. Oh no, nice. that's then, insane. Yeah, and he he phoned me back like a day or so later and says, "That's it, you're on." And I fucking started getting fucking heavy packages for fucking San Francisco every three month, like insane packages for yeah, about three and a right. half year. That's and like then the next thing you know, John Alden had sent me a message saying, hey, nobody knows who you are here at Deluxe. <laughs> Nobody's got a clue. Have you got any footage? And I said, aye, I've just finished a fucking video. I felt a video part, actually. I don't know if it was that Savvy or Fair one. Yeah, yeah. Or the Him and Bam one. I can't remember which one it was. It was 19, man. And then uh, that That's was like it. It. I, sent, I sent them that clip, and then they got an email back saying, from John, just saying, cool. And then it's been like that ever since, since I was 19 year old. <laughs> that's wild, isn't it? It's that, that's like a direct shortcut. You, yeah. There's no like distro, there's very no blessed. Flow. Yeah, and, that's pretty rad. Very that, blessed. And that's down to Foz. Like, yeah. Foz, Foz could have yeah, just been like, Foz. fuck it, I'm going to yeah. take him for. And it was Foz, it got it hooked up, man. It was pretty savage. Because I could see that you on heroin would have been the kind of like the straightforward route to go, but. Yeah, like, and you know, like, that's me. I didn't even have a phone or anything. He got my fucking man and dad's phone number and phone my man's house and I was in luckily. What age did you say? Nineteen? I think I was about eight and eighteen or nineteen year old, eh? So those it's been a while, like it's yeah. been a long time. Because um I mean I don't know how you how old you are in the clip, but I always remember the um it was like uh, you're in a pool for independent. Hmm? There's a clip where you're like skating in America in a pool and it's an independent clip. Is it a six pack clip? Yeah, yeah. Like that's gotta be like 11 or 12 years old. That'll then. be that'll be about 10 year old, eh? 10, 10, 11 year old, you're right, eh? So you got like a direct line through <laughs> far straight to Deluxe for Antia, right? Yeah. How long was it before and you I went out there? And I never spoke to anybody. The first time I went to America was 2004. And I went for three weeks. And then I ended up filming with Stu. And we done... Uh, Graham. Uh, we done one of P-Stone's fucking... Yeah videos one of the beer one of the beer episodes yeah one of the beer films I forget was which called? one it was uh, uh, Bru uh, keg killer it was yeah yeah it was keg killer i mean yeah. Stu had a wee part skating washington street in a little bit of early stages of san pedro and that was the very first time i went there and then i never went back till 2008 or something nice that's how that all came about that's yeah. the fucking dream isn't it is to just be like fucking blessed man. there you go unbelievable man just so, so handy on a plate really yeah yeah i mean yeah, that's that, amazing it? i'm not even really been there, <laughs> that's, <laughs> been <met in> there. <laughs> when you you were saying you started getting the mad packages like every every few months what we're talking about is like stacks of fucking bottles. crazy like because mega yeah. packages like fucking 50 20 boards for the same amount of wheels and then our box the same size full of cloves no way so they really got your back straight away flasks and little knives and shit i've yeah. got the little oh, i should have bought that i've got this little anti-hero knife in a little white box it's got like an arm with a cut on it it's a little flip yeah. knife i got that years ago yeah. i think out of like all the brands stuff that deluxe do is like Oh, Antihero's got yeah. to. Like, all, like the, Antihero, all they do is just the best, isn't it? Antihero's yeah. like the dr fucking dream. And yeah. then, so with Antihero, did Spitfire yeah. naturally <laughs> follow that? Yeah, yeah. They were just, just like. Just went with it, eh? And then I've been getting in, indies, indies through there as well. Somehow, I don't know, it just all came together. But that's just. Yeah, that's the only so ones that's ever really that's, stuck. That's just the. That just proves, doesn't it, that like, you know, like Jim at Deluxe and Deluxe themselves, they're so rad. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. So. Any okay, time went to not. America, did you ever meet Andy Roy? Nah. No. Never met him. Because he... He did fucking message me fucking like last year or something. Yeah. And he's fucking... I don't know what he was saying. I don't know. Something like that. And I just fucking messaged back and I wrote, I am the sesh. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's all sober and shit now. <laughs> yeah. He's like... He's like ripped and... Is he, he went, sober? Yeah. He's sober. <laughs> He went from like ripped to skinny and then ripped to skinny, but now he's like ripped with American white teeth. Uh, and he's like, Turkish teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Bam Margera paid for him. Did he? Yeah. So, Surprised Bam's got any money. I thought he'd done a fucking GoFundMe he for did, those I think, fucking yeah. nationals, man. I think he did, and it got to a certain point, and Bam was just like, I'll just pay for it all. Yeah. And, oh, um, good on him. So fucking Foz straight to Antihero, out there in 2004, not again until yeah. 2008. And then what came after that? Because, I mean, the New Zealand trip was 2006, 
2017 or something, wasn't it? Or uh, 2016? Because I New remember Zealand it was about 2017. Right? I remember that premiere in it, the Copenhagen right, but Open. I, when I went, I went back. I don't know. I don't know. We stint in California, and I was there for ages, and basically based in San Diego, so yeah. Southern California. And skating with Hewitt and that a lot. What a fucking Great. dream skating with Hewitt and we, is. Yeah, and we, it was me and Hewitt and Navs and we'd just fucking, we'd skate washing the street and then we'd, we'd go skate in Vert, the Rumble and Ramona ramp. Yeah, we never as I, well. I, the vertical we, and ramp. Actually, when I first went up, when I went back over to the second time, I was with Rattray. We, I was with Rattray and then uh, everybody fucking went home. Benson and that came. Yeah, Lee Benson nice. and yeah. Alex Irvin and Stu, and then Benson and Alex went home and I said, "Fuck it, I'm staying." And I was kicked at the rat tree for a bit, and then I got talking. Oh, I want to go skate the DC ramp, the fuck like the OG one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was the OG one, and then uh, he gave me fucking. Rattree got me calling my case for number, <laughs> and fucking I went up to his fucking house to go get the keys, and he's he's up there with fucking. I forget the guy's name. I forget the guy's name, but they were working on a little old school BMX and they gave me the keys and I ended up keeping them for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Skated it every fucking day, man. It was brilliant. And then Did got, got into vert and shit and then that was it. Just blasting yeah. around South, Southern California skating. Nice. Some fun, man. Some fun, tell you. My yeah. favourite, one of my favourite photos of you is doing the front, is it the St. Cent, Cent Neots vert? The one that's outside? Oh, is yeah. that King's... Le St. Neots? Yeah, the big black are you, one, isn't it? Are you doing the front side ollie? It's on like a weekend with Div that's side uh, lifted. That front side ollie's good. That's a proper like where you go up and you tuck your knees and you kind of Horsley, invisibly... Horsley took that foot, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, that's a good ramp. That's big, that ramp. It always is 12 foot, isn't it? I think it's like 14. Oh, is yeah, it? it's massive. Yeah, and it's got big ass bonk as well. Like, yeah. yeah. I think Dave Allen had something to do with it. It's proper ramp. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unreal. Fuck, fuck going skating there without taking a step like a ladder with you to get yeah, up. Yeah, I remember going it's filming there with Pete King and like you need a ladder to get on top yeah. of that. Yeah, it's massive. It. It's you can weird. buy those little <coughs> telescopic ladders now, can't you? Yeah. And they're fucking just chuck them in the car now where you go. Yeah, you're yeah. sound then. Yeah, so, that, 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 that skate park's built on a floodplain, so all the ramps are like off the ground, aren't they? Right. They were up on stilts and that. So from, like, literally from that to Deluxe, you literally went from skating to skating with the best people. Yeah. Like, literally skating with heroes, the best. Heroes, really. The fucking yeah. at the end of the day. Skating with the best, like, <laughs> anti-heroes, like the fucking, the well, realist crew. You know, like, Tent City is still, like, the video. Yeah. Like, yeah. what everyone... Anyone doing kind of like a trip tour camping video, guaranteed that's what they yeah. want to base it off. Like Was Tent City. Washington Street man was a was an eye opener for skateboarding for me. Yeah. So you went there and the, and the place is like a fucking moon crater, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You go in there and start skating and okay, put put the foot down and start pushing everybody's kissing at you and shit. Oh, if you push on the yeah, flat instead of carving. skating it properly. And I was like, oh, fuck this, I don't want, I'm not having that. And I just gave up tricks. <laughs> yeah. And just like dedicated to learning how to fucking carve my board, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then that was it. And then once once I got the knack of skating that, all the tricks just came naturally back to me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. figured it out. And that, that was a big eye opener for skateboarding for me, man, mm -hmm. as well. That place, that's a fucking savage, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks so real, doesn't it? Um, is it true that Nav drives around in a hearse? He used to. Oh, he that was the best to, story. He? He, that was an old school thing, isn't it? He yeah. used to have a fucking hearse. The best. My old um, car used to get called the hearse. Yeah. Not because it was, because an old Astro van all spray painted it. black with <laughs> every type of Vauxhall body kit on it. <laughs> and it was, I think it was a 15 owner. <laughs> yeah. Not one original part on it. <laughs> and the thing was just Hybrid. rotten to the ground. So the, so the best, house. one of my favourite stories, obviously I've never met Grosso or Navs, but I used to send Navs t-shirts and he took a photo doing a, uh, a pivot fake in the Vans Combi Bowl and Grosso took the picture mm -hmm. and he sent it to me and I can remember uploading it like Navs in a bag of tea in a f fucking Grosso taking the picture as well. Nice. And That's that was right. just like... It's good and that Navs has always been the raddest dude. Like any time I used to bring out a video, I'd send him like five copies to like him, Parton, and Sam Hits, obviously the Larb, like legend. Mm -hmm. And they'd play it in like a local cinema, like like Venice Beach or somewhere. So again, when I was in Copenhagen, like uh, Al Parton was like 
we've watched your videos because Nav's like when I send them, I write the names on them like this is for these guys. Yeah. So that's just we always get to this point every episode where we talk about why skating's got so many amazing factors to it. Yeah. And that's another one of just like I like you skating, so I sent I sent them a vid and then they they watched it as a crew in a theater off their own back. I didn't have to be like, can you play it? Uh, they yeah, just yeah. used to do just that. And it. It's just skate rats. Well, it's, 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 it's a freaking, it's a own fucking scene, isn't it? And yeah. everybody's together, really. And it's yeah. always been like that. And uh, freaking, can, it's always been like that. And it's getting a wee bit better now. It's a bit more open, you know what I mean? But everybody's fucking started copying skateboarders, really. Yeah. Because when I came back for the States, I was in my brother's house and uh, Steph, his wife, said, Fuck, have you seen all the wee Neds and the chavs kicking about on the street recently? And I'm like, no. And she goes, they're all fucking wearing skate clothes and fucking yeah. and vans shoes and that. And I you says, you're fucking joking. She goes, and the best thing is, Dev, all the skaters have started wearing trackies and fucking Nike <laughs> airbags. And I'm like, yes, that's it. They go the complete opposite, man, everybody. I mean you used to get the shit tore out of you for wearing vans at school. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It was like a poverty <clears throat> show almost. Like, mm -hmm. But it's been like that for years. It's always been the skaters start wearing shit and then people copy it and then that's it goes, it. the skaters stop wearing it and it goes around his circles. I know, it's mental, like, isn't it? That's, was, what, that's I why I love <laughs> skating as well. Like, look at the yard sale dudes. Like, all of their ranges are like velour tracksuit. Yeah. Like, I tried, they sent me a velour tracksuit and I wore it for a day and I was sweating. I was yeah. like, how's anyone skating in a full fucking velour tracksuit? I know, it's funny. That sort of shit Smedley should wear. He should go skating in. Full Smedley, full tracky. Yeah. Yeah, man. Smedley's cool, man. I've not seen him for yeah. ages. Absolute legend. Yeah, I went to the shop the other night and there was like full like kids just hanging out outside vaping and that. And they're all wearing Thrasher Santa Cruz vans and it's just like, <coughs> probably, you know. And no idea the the limit, yeah. you know, like the limit. I want a flash of shot. That's that's in. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool though. So obviously, you know, you've been on anti-hero trips. I'm sure you've seen a lot of fucking good skating. But is there anything that stands out on any of those trips that literally blew your mind? I mean, you skating with fucking Grant Taylor. Yeah, is enough to just you could literally just be like, I skated with Grant Taylor. That's the only answer yeah, yeah. you know. But is there anything super rememberable? about any of those trips, you know, like the New Zealand trip or something like. Like fucking Rumble and Ramona was pretty fucking cool. Yeah. That was that was some good parties, man. I got a fucking, I got MVP one of the fucking, one of those, one of those years. Nice. And it was for good. skating or for partying? Skating and partying. <laughs> I, I kept my knee pads on the whole weekend. <laughs> he went to the bar living for a <laughs> Fucking, we were skating and uh, that was pretty fun. That was pretty cool. I remember that shit a lot. Loads of cool people skating that. That yeah. was an old school steel ramp. Yeah. Like 80 feet wide. Doesn't it have so a rolling as well with a Rolling in the middle, it? yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and they never really done it like a contest. It was more just of a, just a like day. A jam, yeah. And uh, they had a big list on the side of the ramp of tricks that they wanted to see done. And there was the I fucking see. Ollie layback over the channel. And that yeah. was Grosso's tricky one to fucking see, and I said, I'm fucking going for that. <laughs> and there's a clip on the internet, and I fucking eat shit, man. I fucking Only if I can fuck so hanging bad. up. Uh, boom, and back in, over rotate, and fucking whoop, hit the floor and blew my elbow out. <laughs> but it's fucking good fun. No, I learned a lot of tricks on that ramp. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, that place was pretty good. Uh, Bucky's Bowl, we skated Bucky's Bowl. Yeah, that was gnarly, that yeah. thing. And that was cool, because all, all, the, all the big vert heads used to go there. But me and that Pete, looked huge, me and Pete that and Navs had a fucking little plan figured out, so we always used to phone up and say, so what are you guys going to be skating this week? And then we'd figure out where they're going to be going, and then we'd go to Bucky's house when they're all the way there, <laughs> so no one was there skating. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just get in there and have a wee quiet session, or... Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, that thing's scary. That thing is It looks gnarly. enormous. It's yeah. still shallow there, isn't it? The shallow end was like nine feet deep. Shallow. Oh, the shallow end, and then went into the big round, 12 foot, and then goes past the hips, goes down into the diamond shape, and then the big face wall, like 14 feet concrete, like... That's kind of skating. So that, like, insane. That kind of skating is something that, like, you're watching, you're like, I'm never going to be able yeah. to do that. Yeah, fucking... One thing I remember was Chris Miller was there one time. I'm like, shit. Sick. And he fucking drops in, pumps, pump, jumps in the side of the shallow end, up, grind, comes 
comes through comes through this way, pumps the two hips of the shallow end, kind of gets a bit too high and goes down, and he's on the flat and he he's too top heavy, and he just jumps to knee slide, but he doesn't even hit the flat. He just hits the fucking face wall with his knees. Oh, fuck that! And the fucking whole ball made a noise like yeah. boom, and then he just stood up like as if nothing happened. It was fucking hell! Fucking hell! Cannonball man. Did you get to skate with Chris Miller a bit? <laughs> nah, just just I can just remember that one time when he done yeah, that. But holy yeah. shit, that dude's gnarly. I yeah. skated with his son a lot, Zach. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. He's pretty nuts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I've been skating a lot there. And then I went on a few trips. Yeah, I just kept myself to myself and then I built loads of concrete shit over there with my friend Kyle. Is that how you got into making parks and yeah, stuff? Yeah, right? I'm a mate Kyle. Yeah, where did Rock, that start? Rockfest, his name is Gallagher Concrete. Yeah, he uh, he fucking came over. I was staying with my friend Brandon, and he says, "I need help, man." He says, "I kind of pay you, but I'll I'll fucking get you some food." And I ended up working with him just for some food and shit. Yeah, yeah. And then we ended up fucking killing it for a couple of years. Yeah. And he taught me loads of stuff. That's and basically I, and I brought the skill it. back with me. Mm -hmm. So I came back with fucking loads of skills and a bit of eye open to the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fucking pretty cool. Only fucking take up chair. It's Change it for the world, yeah, man. No, 100%. Yeah, no, 100%. Five yeah. years though, I was there. <laughs> Fucking hell. Nice. Shouldn't have stayed that long. <laughs> do, you, do you ever remember the 151 ad with Sam Hitz doing the full Nelson in the pool? Smith, frontside Smith grind to lip slide to fakey, what well, would have been to sugarcane reverb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. The, we need to get someone to do that. When you were saying about tricks you want to see on the ramp, yeah, like those yeah. guys, I still want to see someone do that. It was a proper photo sequence as well. It wasn't mm -hmm. like digital. Yeah. In, in a pool, frontside Smith, lip slide, fakey backside Smith, or is that yeah. sugar cane? I remember and then revert. I went up to, um, I think it's up like, hunt, I want to say Huntington Beachway. And there was a guy that had a, uh, was a guy named Ron. It was Ron's pool, mm. big, huge swimmer. Mm. And the shallow end was pretty decent size. I've seen Sam do that trick in the shallow end, like the all the way swim. around the... Yeah. Gah! On the way out, like fucking hell, pretty yeah. gnarly. Hearing I, that noise as well, like. Yeah. I guess you need quite a bit of lip to do that, don't you? Make, you, know, you ever heard of that kid, McSorley, up in Scotland? He did something similar, but he'll would, he would do like feeble grain board slide and then go into like a front truck. <laughs> Like back, like a backward Smith kind of, but he's on his front truck and then yeah. fake it's quite cool. So feeble grind board like, slide. It's complete to... opposite of the trick we're talking about, yeah. you know what I mean? But still, still that shimmy, same motion. Shimmy, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you know yeah, I mean? sick. Um, back in the day, you rode for Adio. Mm -hmm. you that's, what, that's what you're wearing on that front cover of that DVD there. Yeah. So you, we spoke about it a bit the other day. You were on that tour when uh, Tony Hawk was over here. Mm -hmm. um, got any good stories about that? That was pretty funny. You were I telling me you spilt beer on the back of everyone's Aye, we went down to that PlayStation <laughs> park and we were fucking, uh, we were doing a wee demo and shit and then uh, we all got on the bus and I'm fucking steaming too hot. And the next thing you know, I'm fucking I've passed out. <laughs> I've passed out and I've dropped my full can. And it's pulled all over the bus and Tony Hawk was sitting in the seat in front of me. Oh, it's shit soaking wet. And there was a, what was that Adio video? Remember one that? Step Beyond. One Step Beyond. I don't know if it was that one or the one after. Was Can't it Rock remember. Adio? There was like a little Yeah, something like, like that. Like a, yeah, yeah, like something like that. And they had like a wee extras bit in the DVD. And there's a slideshow of pictures. And it was just me like <laughs> fucking past it. And Tony Hawk sitting in front of me just like. <laughs> just like <laughs> living. Yeah, man. Fucking but hell. he fucking... When I was over there, we were skating his vert ramp as well, and I fucking speaking to him when he was looking at me, I'm like, can you fucking remember me, can you? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I totally care. What are you doing, Dave? I was like, yes, man, no way. Hawk knows man. Lord, yeah. <laughs> It's amazing. cool, man. We skated his ramp a lot as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Fucking learned 540s on that ramp. Oh, yeah. I'd nice. love to do a 540 again. Just yeah. no way to do How it How many have you done? Two. 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 At, at, at Tony Hawk's ramp or both? Done one at Tony Hawk's and then I've done one at uh, DC ramp. What what grab are you going? Just backside grab on it? Grab, I say grab, just, but I'm fucking grab you, doing me. Yeah. yeah. That took me years to do, man. Fucking tried. Tried to do it fucking the year before 
skated all the mm. way, like right till the fucking bells till New Year, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I never done it, but then determined, man, and I eventually done it. And it was help from Omar Hassan and fucking PLG, man. <laughs> they gave me a little, couple people. of little tips. What are the tips? Yeah, uh, they fucking, well, I learned I learned the gay twist mute grab, which yeah. is the second half of the trick. I learned that yeah. bit. So I've got the second part of it done. Oh, yeah, I guess and the so. The first cause... bit, I couldn't do it. And I kept going and grabbing and fucking Omar saying, you you need to keep your back arm back so you can see if you don't do that, then you're just going blind, yeah, you know blind. what I mean? Yeah, I guess so it makes keep sense. keep your right? arm back. And then PLG told me, don't grab it until you're like above two feet in the air. Yeah. Two or three feet in the air. Don't grab it early. And I'll, grab late. Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't grab it till then and then just huck it, throw your head back and keep your arm back. So once, it, once you're getting round and then you... When you come around and then you can start seeing the ramp again, you're like, oh, fucking hell. I'm here's where it. the Here's where the gay twist mute grab part comes oh, in. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then fucking when I done it, I didn't even know I had landed it. I was on the other side in the front side, going, like, oh, what the fuck's going on, man? <laughs> Such a bizarre just trick, happens man. that quick. Yeah. I guess it's quite disorientating, isn't it? Like, I can't imagine, like, the kids now doing 900s and 1080s and all that shit, like... Yeah, I don't know what the hell... Like, when you that? roll away from it, surely you're like... like I've only got a rotate 360 and I get dizzy. Yeah. Imagine doing that. They must just that. be thinking the buttons that you press yeah. on a fucking I controller. Guess it is. <laughs> yeah, like. have, you, um, have you seen that, the Italian vert kid, Leonardo da Vinci, isn't it? We spoke yeah, we about spoke him, about him, yeah. But he does proper McTwist like McGill did, you know, like proper mm, over rotate. Know. It's insane. I don't know. I'll show man. you later, but like, it, I've been that so, kid's I've insane. I've been watching skating too much. Yeah, I've, I've just been fucking, been a bit busy doing other stuff working. Yeah. 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 Being an adult, I'm not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, whereabouts in Scotland are you from? I'm from a town called Kirkluck. It's a kind of central belt, about 25 miles south of, south of Glasgow. And you it, heard of a place called Lanark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, fucking, that's where I was born. That's where William Wallace is from. All right. <laughs> so yeah. I was fucking born there and grew up six miles away. Cool wee place. So your brother skated as well. Yeah, still skates, right? Still skates, yeah. yeah. Still so skates in his can. He's got he, family in that now. Is he, he doing photography as well, Colin? Nah. No. No. Is he older or younger than you? He's younger than me. So how did you two get into skating? Was it did, was, through my cousin? Right. My cousin, uh, my cousin, and my uncle Wally used to live with my dad and papa, my dad's dad. And I remember ever since I could walk him in two legs, like you fucking had a board about. You go through the fucking back door in the kitchen, and I fucking my cousin. Darn board would be sitting there on it. Yeah, yeah. He's that fucking shot of that. Mm. Wow. And get ran up and in the kitchen, man. And that was it for there, really. That's yeah. it. It's always been that. And then the fucking. That's it. We used to skate out the back of the, in the high street. And we used to make fucking. We used to steal all these plastic boxes for the chemist. And then we'd, we designed our ramps off of them boxes. Mm. Yeah. So we'd make like little driveways with hinges on them. So we're all folded up. Fucking nice. Shit, and we'd hide them all. Yeah. And then we'd pull That's them all out at night time after five o'clock, you know, just skate all that shit. Fucking that's how we done it. And yeah. then my dad used to take us to Livingston all the time. Fucking three, four times a week, man. So that was a local park, really. That's a harsh park. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, the, and that at that time was fucking heavy crew, man. I was like, yeah. yeah. Good crew of people, Scottish guys skating levy all the time. Because it's a fucking pretty iconic place, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, fuck yeah. Ben, Stu, Ivan, fucking... I was about to Elliot, say, did you grow you know, up skating with Stu? Levy guys. Stu would be a good one to talk to because I want to. I want to hear how we, you know, got on creature and his stay in the states, mm. and yeah. that's pretty wild. But yeah, that I mean, Livy is a, it's a fucking, it's a rough park. Yeah. Like it's a rough local park and it's big as well. There's a lot of fucking big yeah. shit there. There's a fucking full pipe there and everything now. There's, whole, there's, there? there. there's got the whole part three built on the back. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it's a bit. It's been built back rough, like, but yeah, everybody complains about it. But you know what? You're like, look at the shit you've been skating for the last fucking twenty years. It's fucking nobody had anything to, the th the to thing compare is, it to. You know what mm. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And it's fuck. You can still skate it. The thing is, right? So we're right. obviously building a load here at the minute, and there's always that divide of just like there's skaters that love it. Then there's just skaters that complain about everything. Yeah. <laughs> like the ramp that you're building outside, one kid was like, it's not going to be whippy enough. They it's going to be too whippy. They don't realise how lucky they are to have like, stuff. Like to have nearby, that like... stuff now, like you wouldn't have had it 10 years ago. 
Like that's why most people. That's why most skateboarders are skateboarders, though, isn't it? Because they don't fucking like anything. But <laughs> and you go skating, and nobody can say shit to you. Yeah, really, yeah. just do what you want. That's how I look at it. <laughs> We're all an each individual person. Yeah, yeah. Quite True, man, isn't it? You kind of really. You need to fucking live a rough with a smooth on it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah. But the kids have got it easy now. I mean, when when I was growing up, we had Stevenage. That was the nearest skate park. Mm -hmm. He'd been there. Too. Ah, that's a good it's park. Fucked, yeah, isn't it? looked like a wash hand basin. That yeah. little bowl at the back, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Proper man, I love did, that. Did you um, when Cardiel came over? He was nose plant sliding in the the half pipe there. Re was he really? Yeah, with no wax. Apparently, didn't yeah, make it. Probably. But... I mean, that sounds it insane. It wouldn't surprise no, me. That lip is like round as anything. Like I don't, there's nothing, no locking yeah. on that. But did you, did you ever go to any of the Night of the Living Dead in Liverpool? I was parties? watching some did of them. I went to, to the, I went to the one when Scott Bourne came over. Yeah. Did you go to the one when like the anti-hero dudes and the real No, I didn't. There? No, I've I seen was the, the videos. I went there with a fucking blonde mullet wig on and named the other clue who was. <laughs> they, those, <laughs> that was savage. When he was skating, dressed as fucking Dracula. Yeah. And he'd done a backside boneless in the deep end of the ball when it was like about four inches deep of beer. <laughs> yeah, because everyone, used, they were, everyone, everyone used to everyone throw used to pelt, in. didn't they? Yeah, like, fireworks, pretty yeah. sure, and that's everybody throwing big, huge fucking fireworks in. Yeah, <laughs> it was gnarly. Heavy. They used to that's like crazy, isn't it? there's a clip. Um, <clears throat> I think it's on a Def Skateboards extra. I don't know what what video it is. Or it might be on like a you know those. You remember those UK video magazines? Like UKVM. UKVM. It might be on one of those, and like people are like on coat like grinding the coping for ages and everyone's there with like and it looks like full like they've just cracked beer drank a bit and they're like yeah not to empty totally. cans like pete like and i'm sure there's one bit where someone throws like meat in there or something there's like <laughs> no, a fucking yeah. like a, pig's hearts yeah. there's pig's hearts and like, they're throwing them in when they, like once the, once the, that jam had finished they done like the you know standard fucking Product us for the kids. <laughs> You're throwing in hearts. And I remember just like let's throw everything after the thing's full of beer, and all these <laughs> kids are sloshing around in there, sodden and wet. Basically like awful. And I just remember this one kid like coming out of the brawl, and he's, ah, he's got a pig's heart in his mouth, and he's ah, 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 and fucking beers going everywhere. Oh, You're like, you know. this is fucking raw as fuck. I love you it. That needs to come back. You don't get so, those like, events anymore. Like, no. when, when they used to do the, the competitions at St. Albans at Pioneer, it was a fucking carnage. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, like people smashing up anything <laughs> that could be smashed up when somebody did a trick. Just, yeah. And it was like, that was the norm. <laughs> yeah. Everyone just went fucking mental. Every, and then, <laughs> everything's so clean cut, every, isn't it? Everything now, now like, is all red tape. Yeah, you know, know. And, like and health I, and safety yeah, procedures. Yeah, and, I, and I, I get that because you kind of, you know, there's a, there's a whole. Imagine having a paramedic tent getting. at the night of the living <laughs> fucking shred right. events. Like everyone's going to be there dying. That, that that one night with the pig's hearts and all that, we we all like kind of took over the deck of the deep end part of the bowl, and it was me and Stu and my dad and Colin and all that, and, and big horse was up there and. Next thing you know, it was stirring horsely like a fucking sumo wrestling fucking man. <laughs> it was fucking Horse well. is an animal, isn't he? Aye. It's him and stir fucking... When he has a drink, it's amazing. Aye. There's, a, party, right, guy. there's a video, you might know which one it is. I don't, I don't know where I've seen it. I'm sure it was in an old stew part. He either does a front side grind around the corner of a bowl and someone knocks him off and he's got a bottle and he throws it at him. Or he front side grinds it, someone knocks him off and he hits himself with it and jumps into the bowl. <laughs> Oh, I that's fucking Livy. That's like two minutes to midnight and everybody's standing gets in, in, the gets in the pool. Yeah, yeah, and he goes round. No, this is what he does. Stu comes flying in through the half pipe into the, into the wee bowl, goes into the waterfall of the deep end and then he comes yeah. flying out with this <laughs> in there and just body checks Pritchard up <laughs> in the back wall, just pancakes him. <laughs> ah! I forget which video it is, but I think that's the one you're thinking about. I can remember seeing it and just being like, fucking, he's an animal. Yeah. Like, he Stu's is, an he? he's animal. He's not that anymore. He's fucking 
but it's done now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought it was amazing when he took a shit on the street course. Was that a NAS? He did yeah, that. I heard about that. Brilliant. I think so Snelling that. copied so, that as well. So it's funny. In, <laughs> it's in a bloke's vid. Snelling. <laughs> he just goes, just goes into the middle and just takes a shit. Didn't they the close best. off the park yeah, as well they had to, to clean yeah. it up? Yeah, red tape, isn't it? Was that, you can't have human excrement about Was that before or after he banged his head off the floor? Fuck knows. Remember he tried that back D reverb? Yeah, <laughs> and he comes back and he... Yeah, I wonder if he took the shit before <laughs> or after. Yeah. I mean, maybe it was after. I need to find out. There's a video of Snell in, in the first <laughs> bloke's vid where he's got like his pants down and he's like, he's in a comp and he's like fingering his ass and he's like, ah. And I'm sure that was because of, I'm sure that was because yeah. of Stu's fucking naked on the drink, man. He's shit. It's a kid. He goes, my old man, he can't hack it. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, when did um, well, so we kind of jumped a bunch of steps straight to the anti and deluxe stuff instead of going, you know, like when did you start skating, etc. But how long after that did you start venturing out of Scotland and you know going? I mean, around the UK, overseas. Did you go like that fucking did you go, shit you were talking about? Yeah, did you go to that? America the first time with the anti hero stuff? Well, I just went myself. I was a fucking apprentice. I was an apprentice plumber at the time. Yeah. And I got asked if I want to go. I said, fuck it, right, bought a ticket. Too right. Just went out myself. Yeah. And just me and, me and Alex Irvin done our own thing, really. Me, him and mm. John and Stu. Have you seen Alex recently? No, I've no. Good lad, isn't he? lives in London now, Yeah, he? yeah. What about Rap Tray? I'd fucking, I'd love to meet John. He lives in, I think he lives in... He's in Oregon, isn't he? Does he live in Oregon? I think so. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think he lives in Oregon now. Yeah. yeah. He's fucking rad as well. Oh, man. Yeah, big up John and yeah. fucking Philippa. They're two cool people who look after me and the dead. I'm quite yeah. jealous of it. It's well unfair. You, you grew up skating with a rad, the raddest dudes. Yeah. And then you were put straight onto a company with the raddest yeah. dudes. Yeah. Fucking so hell. the one thing you can do to make me feel better... <laughs> is get me on a filming trip when you're with these i'll give i'll give whoever it is the footage i just want to be there to see it can you not get him on the the uk tour i fucking i don't know I, i'm barely getting on it myself I don't know <laughs> it, you know what i mean fucking this will know. probably come out maybe around the time a similar time or after because yeah yeah we've got a couple of episodes but yeah so yeah if it comes out after the tour like how much do you know anything about it like we, I, we, I don't know. I just know the basics that fucking... <coughs> Al, um, Al's going to go up to Scotland on the 17th, so I said, I'll drive up with you. I'll come up with you. And then I fucking was oh, I hit my fucking dad. I need to think about my dad. And then I said, I might actually be up there, so I might just go link up with him there. But I think, well, I think it's 17th for starts, so God knows. Is it for a week, it, do think, you think? Keep it quiet, and it? Just do the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. Really, but hell, I don't know, man. What's up with you? Get the just do a bag head part, man. Try and film something, man. Film. Yeah, you should do. There Come you go. Over, try it. Try and do something. I need to skate there more. I've been working too much and partying, so I need to try and keep on the board, really. Where are you living now? I've been living in uh, Todmorden, um, near Hebden Bridge, Mikey Wright territory, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mikey Wright. I've been Hebden living there Bridge. for the last five years. Fuck, that's not even. Even, that's not even that that's far. That's not from even here. far. Like two hours or yeah. so, two and a half hours. Kind of, kind of past like crew. Like just, get, <coughs> get, just head up M one and then yeah, you can drive through Sheffield. Mm. Or I didn't even know you were that up, close. Keep, keep yeah. going M one up to the M sixty two, and then you're just fucking. What, you, what you need because to do? We're, because we're um, I'm skating with Avi a lot, Chris Everton. You right. know, no comply yeah. master of the wizard, and. It was going to be like me, Avi, uh, Tim Smith, Timo Smith, and Mike Wright, and we, we were going to meet in Hebden. Yeah. And if I fucking knew you were there, I would have been spamming yeah. you much earlier. To... Yeah, man. Fucking, I've been there for like five years. It's fucking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Some good, good, some proper good parties there. Some great good parties. Nice, there's good fucking events going and yeah. music and stuff. And yeah. Man, I'd be more the than Sesh Club to... 7. I need to big up the Sesh, Sesh Club, Club 7. 7. Sesh till <laughs> death. I'd be yeah, well, I'm big up the Sesh Club. <laughs> I'd be more than down to. You know what to you need to filming. do. You just need to drive down, pick him up, go down, hit up Stevenage, Romford, Harrow in a day. You'll probably get enough yeah. clips in like. Yeah, you'll get a days. part in a day. Yeah. yeah. Just do that. We could just do hit that. up those concrete places. I really want to go. I really want to go back to Newquay. Yeah. yeah. I was doing. Well, I built that skate park back in before I went to, to New Zealand to be these guys. And yeah. you helped build them. Build the Melton Mowbray. Boat Mountain and Mowbray as well. Because I, I got a call from, I don't know who you worked for at the time, but I got a call. Again, I don't know how they got my number, but they were just like, um, 
so there's a park being built in Melton Mowbray. And I was like, yeah, no, because it was a shit metal park for a while. And that's a good park, by the way. It's an amazing mm -hmm. park. And they were like, do you want to go do some video work there? And I was like, yeah, possibly, you know, yeah. And, uh, and they were like, Div Adams building it is going to be there. And I was like, all right, yeah, I'm keen. And I think the day we were going to go down and film it, it had fucking shut down. We rained for like a week, so it got cancelled. Yeah. And that, that would have been like 2015 or 16. Yeah, you, like, you're probably right there. Yeah. Right? But I can remember at first I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Because, you know, when I was living in Leicester, Melton Mowbray was like three train stops away. And then they were like, it was like they had a fishing line with a fucking bait on it. And I was the fish and they were like, Div's going to be there. <laughs> and I was like, yep, yeah, I'm there. We were living in a, in a bar like hotel across the yeah. road for that. Milton Mowbray. Tiny town, isn't it? Uh, like, and tiny. The, and there was a guy, there was a guy in there and he was like going to fucking MCAT, MCAT Savage. Oh, when that was yeah. the thing. And he came up to us and introduced us to himself to us and he's like, our names, he goes, my name's Shooter. And me, me, me and Andy started calling him Scooter. Scooter, <laughs> Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, and we were on the fucking wind up. Me and Andy just started fucking fighting each other in front of him. And he got ever so scared, man. So we ended up fucking taking over that bar a wee bit, man, and we stole a whole table and chairs for the fucking place and took it to the skate park because <laughs> we were nowhere to set up for lunch. And the bar the bar manager came over and he's like, I want these back over at the pub by the end of the Walk night. I'm going to Poland. <laughs> fucking hell, that was brilliant. Big, huge. Council building right next to it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we fucking, we dug a huge hole in the fucking place and we just threw everything in it and set it on fire. All the <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> so we did the neat throw it away. Just bury it at night and dig it back up and it would still be fire the next day. It was like three day <laughs> fire right next to the place. Nobody even blinked an eye, man. That park is sick. I'd love to go back there. Yeah. It's not See, far from here, is it? No. Yeah, it's only 40 minutes, man. The, yeah, the home of the pork pie and still yeah, cheese, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. See, I was saying when I was last with Jim at a wedding, he was like, I'm going to give you a list of people to film and you've got to film Div. And I just thought you were the other end of the country. Yeah, yeah I'm, just I'm kind of all other places. Really yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty hard to get hold of these days. Yeah. Hey, that just reminded me, um, I spoke to Leo Sharp yesterday. I said you were here building... He was like, say what's up to Div. Yes, man. Big yeah. Leo. He's Leo's all right, isn't he, Leo? Leo? He was here skating yeah. the other day, and he, yeah, he, he still just here. skates really good. Like, yeah. he's a big dude. He still skates really good. Yeah. Like, man. I love Leo. Yeah. I remember something to do with the surfing in it. He doesn't look yeah. surfing. I re Solid, yeah, man. Yeah. I remember I was I was in Barca on a trip, and he was taking photos. And I, I had a VX at the time. And obviously, you can put it in a little bag. Just carry it on your shoulder. And I, 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 I like, took the piss out of him, you know, for carrying, like, a bag with all of his camera, you know, like a pull along suitcase. Like, you're right, mate. Because he was going through that like, phase of the Hasselblad and like, like all that medium, is it medium format wait, cameras? The big he just ones? had loads so of stuff. Much shit. And I can remember that classic, like, you're right, mate, you're going on holiday, like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and now, like, I obviously <laughs> use like the camera with a big lens. Yeah. And he's probably downgraded all of his stuff. And I ran into him and I was like, I remember taking the piss out of you. And he was like, yeah, now you've got the big fucking camera. Yeah, bag, yeah it's mad, isn't it? I'm I know it's, it's mental, man. Like <clears throat> when I was fucking, when I was younger, can you remember Skate Shop in Glasgow called NBC? Mm. NBC, yeah. It was Mick O'Neill, man, the legend, man. He, he had local skateboards, didn't he? And, that, and he used to give me all the boards and Alex Irvin was around then. And he, he was, there wasn't any digital cameras. He was still using the film, you know what I mean? And the amount yeah. of fucking film used to go through. And then, yeah, the, then all these digital cameras came out and the all these machines and whatnot. <laughs> machines. <laughs> you know, your stuff, man, it gets smaller, did not it? Yeah. It's used to be compact gnarly, like, now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like when they used to shoot film sequences. Yeah. It'd just be like reels of film just wasted until yeah. you do it. It's like... And then right. when those digi cameras came out, I remember when Sam Ashley first got his and it was like, everyone was like, holy shit, you can just shoot sequences. Like, like you know, just go do it all, you know. know. Yeah, that's just, when it, like the mags started putting in loads more sequences and stuff. Because it was more affordable. Yeah. Like, you weren't wasting money on <clears throat> yeah. film, like getting a sequence and throwing it away and yeah. buying film and throwing it away. It must have, I mean, you know, I've never been in that position, but doing a trick, having a sequence shot on film, it must be the pressure's on because yeah. you've only got like six rolls of film. You have yeah. to do it and that. What's the name of that fucking 
big skate park in Oregon, and it's, it's the big, huge downhill. The one that's got the, the Lincoln the City. Mm. You know that one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's got like the the roof over it kind mm. of thing. Yeah. Alex was still using film then, and we were trying to shoot photos. And uh, I was coming around, going into the capsule and carving around, and then there's like a kind of squiggly double hip like that. And I was trying to like charge an ollie over. And you know how, remember the film cameras, and you'd, it does the, you take that practice photo first. Yeah, yeah. And that's the only one he got, and you can't really use it. I don't think you can remember, but it. And then yeah, they was I like a test and I was, Polaroid, wasn't and it? And I was still trying. And Alex was doing, and he was, ah, that's the one. And then he was fucking getting his fucking camera ready, and I come round, get in the capsule. There's no fucking flat in there either, in it. Just come round, my and my body weight shifted back, so I'm coming down the transition, and then fucking straight up, and I'm just back the hill time. Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm straight up in the air, completely upside down. <laughs> Maybe about five or six feet away from the coping. No way. I just landed on top of my head on the flat. <laughs> <laughs> and knocked the floor out. and Alex turned around ready with the camera. <laughs> and I'm just, just knocked out. Uh, I wasn't even knocked out. I was just lying there. I couldn't move. And, and some bird fucking jumped in the bowl and she just gave me a handful of pills. And I fucking gated it. I didn't even know what they were. I just I poured them in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and that was gone so much. I remember that with the, foot, the film, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it was like to test the light in. It was yeah. like the test Polaroid, wasn't it? I think, Aye. I don't know how it worked. And then you. Pretty nuts. Yeah. yeah. Pretty nuts, man. Um, do, you, uh, do you get to hang out with Julian Strange much? I think the first time I met him was when, was the year, year before we went to this place. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. How did that trip come about? Did you get a call, like, we're going to New Zealand, or was it like you were already... Yeah, Ju some... Julian asked me, he said we were going, he said he had already been out and scoped it out. Yeah. And he wants me to go and... Because fucking... New Zealand's meant to be fucking good yeah, for skating. Get... And I got there, I got there, like, in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, the American guys turned up at night, you know? How do they handle your accent? I don't fucking... I... They've got it pretty much dialed, because see, when I was in America, you know, I got fucking sick of repeating myself. <clears throat> so I managed to just, like, I just gradually slowed my accent down so everybody <laughs> could understand Not me. Not talking you know as I mean? quick. So, aye. And I still got a bit of jip for it. Everybody thinks I still got a bit of a fucking twang or I speak slow or some shit. I don't know. But aye. So they got it, man. But uh, we went there and Julian didn't even tell anybody that I was coming, you know what I mean? So I was already there, and then I went to the airport with this guy, Reese to pick us all up, and then he's just, fucking hell, no way, everybody was there. But it, the cool thing is, is I went round the world this way, and, <laughs> and they, they were around this way. the other way. And then yeah. we met. How long we was the trip? Uh, I think it was about 15 days or something. Or, yeah. Or... or 18 days or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah. Well, I was fucking blacked out drunk for 13 of them. <laughs> the first 13. <laughs> no joke. I can remember, I can remember at the premiere, um, cause I didn't expect you to be in it. And then, I mean, Copenhagen, everyone was pretty fucked anyway, but they played it in like a big open park with a, yeah. with a screen. And the thing with Copenhagen is like, unless you know what's going on, you'll just stumble across a random event. And I can remember we were like all sat down and watched it and it was super busy. And then like, I don't know if I was just around all the English people or whatnot, and I can remember it being loud, but there's a bit where I think they ask you how you got into skating as well. And you come on the screen and everyone was just like, Dave. <laughs> it just went fucking, no, it, Dave. it just went, I can remember the video was nuts anyway, but I can remember when you came on, everyone was like losing the shit. And then when you came on and you were like, you're doing the front slashes with a fucking sword <laughs> and everyone was just like, yeah. And then you come on the screen and it went from like, yeah, it's like, ah. yeah. I think it's just, that, that was a night of pissed on Alex Olsen through the bush, I think. That was pretty. Yeah. And the police turned up and there was like police in the road. Yeah, and, cause they started the fucking riot. Didn't yeah, they? And, and, riot. Everyone, and there was like flat bars outside of a skate shop and everyone was just going nuts. And it was like, 
like armored police like fucking suit it, and, I, and I was like I'm getting out of was, here like it goes back to like the old events when skaters get together and there's like good, a few drinks some, people go mad sure the UK head started that shit yeah <laughs> I know a couple of people that were um, they but, were, they yeah, were man, pulling like the emblems off the front of cars and wreck 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 wrecking uh, buddies that was the biggest premiere I've ever had yeah I yeah. think they told me and it they was had done it all. They done it in the West Coast, didn't they? Their video, and then they done, uh, and then they done it in Copenhagen. Yeah, in a big part of the big screen. That must have felt cool for them, man. They, yeah. they that was com awesome. filmed in uh, Super Eight, wasn't it? The whole film. Yeah, mm. that's savage. Yeah. I think Copenhagen's got to be the only thing yearly to this day where, like, you know, when you talk <clears> about <throat> the the Night of the Living Shred events and etc. Night of the Living Dead stuff, and just people going wild. I think Copenhagen's the only big body event like that yeah. where people still just go fucking nuts. But the the thing is, you know, aside from the police or like damaging cars, etc., what people have to realise with that stuff is like, it's like what Zorlak were talking about. We spoke to Zorlak the other day and it's like, skaters get loud, loud and rowdy and they're drinking like wrestling each other, but it's not anything like, you're not wrestling your mate drunk, trying to beat the shit out of people. It's just the rowdiness of yeah. being around everyone that you know. It's the, some it. outsiders just don't. Okay, it's, it's, just it's like a fucking, it's basically like a fucking mosh pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a mosh pit the no, without the band. The gnarliest, <laughs> thing at, the gnarliest thing at that Copenhagen event, there was also a Polar video that was playing and there was a big storage container and this guy was on there and he was fucked and he was trying to scare on this storage container. And then out of nowhere, all it's like one person for a beer and this guy's up there and everyone's just like, and there's thousands of people and the guy's just like, come on. Yeah. I can remember like, he was just still there loving it and like people are pulling like the mesh fence, like the fences. Just carnage, like, isn't it? It's, it's I've, just... had a few, I've had a few sessions in Copenhagen, man. Yeah. I was out partying one night and it was fucking winter time. I was building a bowl up, up like north, maybe about an hour or so north with this dude, James Hemming. Is it a big, piece, man, big but... like DIY bowl? No, you... no, it was, a, it was just a little bowl thing, and so I went down and, and went and kicked it with the with the homie jammer, and ended up losing everybody. Ah, fuck it, it's like mine is free. And I'll go back to the bowl, I'll go sleep in the bowl, get there, <laughs> fucking, uh, you know, the Christiania bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking tch, 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 padlock shut. Ah, fuck it. Take my backpack off, put it on forward, get my jacket on. I'll just sleep on my board. And I walk out, ah, oh, fucking hell, it's a bit cold, frost all over me. <laughs> right, right, I'll find somewhere to fucking sleep. You Start, wake up like, feeling grim, don't you? Started right? rake, I'm going to rake through the skips there. And open the skips up, and fucking, ah, uh, full of fucking glass wool insulation. Whoosh, straight in. <laughs> <laughs> fucking through it, through it, through it, through a bit over me and passed it, right? It's like, yes, and fucking woke up. Woke up the next morning and all I could feel is, Boom, boom, boom. When it was some woman was throwing bits of drywall past the board and and the skip, and I was shouting, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's fucking somebody in here sleeping!" And she goes, "Oh, oh my god! I thought that was a pair of mannequin legs." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You need to go to Copenhagen and get wrecked and fucking sleep a bit rough, man. We were, it. It's fucking fun. <laughs> we were talking about it the other day, like. Um, like, because the bike culture out there is so big, it's like you, you're you going from one spot to the next and say it's like three miles and you're like foot walking or getting a public transport. You're like, keep an eye on a bike knocking around and you're like, yeah. you zone in on it and you run over and get it and you're just like, yeah. and you're right, like, there's no point through, if if I lived in Copenhagen when Copenhagen Open was opening, I'd never ride my bike anywhere. I'd like, I'd keep it in my house and just walk yeah. for, the, for the five days when it's on because... It's just like you can just take them off a fence and <clears throat> see that see that year you were talking about when you met Frank and and brought him into their hotel yeah. room or whatever. Remember everybody was hanging out the front on that little stoop, the little stairs out front. Yeah, was that the same year? Grant was skating up the street with a fucking bit of rope on his bike and he was dragging the bike across the street, <laughs> like the opposite pushing. Way. <laughs> dragging it and then like then slap your grains on the curbs and then like fucking sliding it under the taxi and shit when he was skating past with it it was fucking mental I can just remember being blown away because it was like you wake up and like Gur is there Peace Zone's there rest in peace Rainy Bears is there they're all kind of like sat around the table talking yeah. and then like 
Rune turns up with Colin Provas and he's like coming to pick him up. And he's like, oh, we're going to Christiania if you want to jump in. And it, it was always a regret kind of being like, nah, but you know, like all my mates were in the, I, we were there for like a group mm. session. Uh, but I was like, I fucking should have jumped in the SUV with all these dudes. Yeah. But yeah, that trip was just, that trip was <laughs> wild. And watching those guys skate the Fallenden Park Oververt, literally like, I filmed, I've got a line of Rune. It's in a video, like backsmiths it. And then as he's he's coming, as he's going from like the shallow to the deep end. So he like backsmiths, because he's regular, he backsmiths the oververt, then does like a boards like fake around the corner, then just does the best like fakey three and like fucking grabs the shit out of it. And it's so high in the air and I fucked the filming up. Yeah. And I can remember dead sheepishly being like, uh, Sorry, Mr. Glyphberg. <laughs> I've uh, messed up the clip and he's so nice, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's, he's like, so... don't worry about it. I'll just do it again. And he did it again, back to back. Like that dude's so fucking Yeah, he's sick. cool. I remember, I remember I was skating the Coastal Carnage contest in Huntington Beach. And then at the same week, there was the sessions in the abyss at the DC ramp. And uh, Rune drove me and little Tom Remillard and Tom Remillard skis yeah, is... And we went down there. We went, we went down and we skated that shit. And then we fucking... I ended up winning a, a grand or something. And then fucking hurt myself and shit. And then uh, Colin McKay won a grand as well. And I don't think he was there. And they're like, where's Colin? He's due a thousand bucks. And I remember Danny Wason shouting, give it to Dev. Oh, amazing. And I went to fucking, I went to go get the money. I was like, you need to give me cash because I'm illegal. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, no, we can't do that. I was like, fuck you, fuck you, two grand in, you monster prick. <laughs> <laughs> Still want to give me a fucking sponsor though, fuck <laughs> Or give me my two grand back. <laughs> so did, you didn't leave with a grand or two grand? Nah, no, like, but I went to, you. I went back up. Rune drove us back up. And then I ended up fucking, we went and skated there and I won, I won two grand. And uh, I, only, I got a grand because fucking Sha Brian Schaefer was on the mic and he's like, should we give Satan a thousand bucks? And the whole crowd went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got, called me Satan and I got a thousand bucks, man. You take and that. And I got fucking one of the youngsters to fucking cash my cheque because they don't need to get a tax yeah, on yeah. it. No, yeah. I just front them, give them 400 bucks for doing it for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Good experiences, man. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. hell. Live each day blind and go the distance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go grab a can and fucking parts. <laughs> Before we go, yeah. um, do you want to talk about building Thropus or shall we go into any Ben Schroeder yeah. stories? Because Ryan. Yeah, uh, did you hang oh, out with ben? Do you get to skate with Ben Schroeder? Yeah. Can they yeah. Didn't he? I built my uh, locomotive skate park. So that's Ben Schroeder. Okay, yeah. yeah. He's been trying to phone me recently, man. He keeps calling me, calling me out because I'm not answering the phone. But because you know when you yeah, said Chris Miller slammed and you felt the ramp uh, shake, you said on the Zorlak episode or maybe the Munson episode. Yeah, as Pauli said when the, Schroeder was when South Schroeder seat. bails, mm -hmm. it's heavy. The yeah. ramp shakes. He's when a big he lad, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I've done my first bit of concrete with Ben Schroeder, and. Uh, I ended up fucking living with him for for like two months or something. Yeah. And he like he was living in his parents' attic. And uh, I got the blame for him getting back on the wagon <laughs> or off the wagon. <laughs> Whichever way you want to look at it. I get the blame for it. I'm like, he's a fucking grown adult. It's not my fault. Well, but his parents were giving you grief because... No, nah, he's, he's bored at the time. Oh, all right. But uh, af after work every day, we used to... Monrovia, he lives in, isn't it? And... Uh, and uh, no, is it? Is it Monrovia? I think it's Monrovia. And Grosso was passed, you know, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. they're, they're best buddies, they were, weren't they? Yeah. They fell out at some point, I can't remember, but they love each other. But after work every night, uh, Gross, um, Schroeder used to take us up to this place called Chantry Mountain. Mm -hmm. It's like three miles of downhill. And he fucking got us into skating downhill, man. He'd get two, two 15s, riser pads, big wheels. Yeah, yeah. Skinny board. <coughs> Do you get the gloves and all that nah, shit? Nah, nah. And then Schroeder's moves called the reverse tadpole. <laughs> and that's how you fucking slow the fuck. That's how you slow down. So when, you, when you're carving downhill, when you come over to the side, you go, <laughs> and then go. And that's how you slow down. <laughs> you've got the reverse tadpole. But yeah. 
fucking hell, he used to fucking throw rocks and sticks in front of you. And there's one, there's one, uh, there's one obstacle on that hill, and you come round. It's a fucking little wall like this. Yeah. And then it's just a fucking mountain. Well, just sheer drop on the other side, but there's one bit called the bear trap, and the road kind of like swells into like a giant death box type thing. And you can reverse tadpole this side, and come <laughs> in, and you carve in, and then you can launch out. But sometimes the the transition of it, oh, fucking your legs can go in, and you can get jacked. It's quite scary, like, yeah, yeah it's pretty yeah. gnarly. I imagine. And, then, and then once you get especially up the if hill, he's throwing rocks under you, you yeah, <laughs> somebody following you, and then once you get to the bottom and come out into the kind of neighborhood bit, you, you hook a left. It goes a left, and then a right, and then a left, and then a right. But on the when you go left, there's this corner house here. You, you can come come up the driveway like that, oh, like nice. alley up, and yeah. then down. And then there'll be some horseshoe driveways, and then the opposite. And then at the very end, it's just a big, like, half a mile downhill. And there's a fucking liquor store at the bottom. <laughs> like, yeah, Shining man, bright. Man. Like, if you survive bad. it. Such a good fucking thing, man. Yeah, yeah. I should phone them, really. I've yeah. always, um, we spoke, I know we keep saying we spoke about it, but you know how um, he did one in the Vans Combi Bowl? You know where he like kicks his board and runs alongside it and just like death drops in on it as it's rolling in? Mm. That's one of the scariest looking fucking things because he doesn't like hang up or anything. It's like it, the board goes straight tight. over like... And fucking, he invented most, most, most lip tricks, didn't he? Yeah, you yeah. Know? You ever heard, you ever asked him to do a tail slide? If he thought he'll kick off it. It's not called a tail slide, it's called a chief slide. <laughs> <laughs> the verdict being yeah, called that. It's fucking his shit though, isn't it, man? Yeah, yeah he's gnarly. Fucking hell. He, you know, we were talking about pivot fakies the other day though. Yeah. yeah. Dude, he's so fucking, needs to be the perfectly in the middle of the truck. Yeah. Not and either, then, no either tail one side. or anything hitting and back in. Yeah, he's just particularly like that, but he's a fucking big guy. Yeah. Well, um, in for Schroeder, let's uh go outside and do some pivot fakers. Not me or Toby. You can do a couple of Should pivot do fakers. One? Yeah. We'll do I mean, one I've got ben. one on video that I filmed the other day. Like yeah, that was like a full grind, but yeah, me, me and my mate Frex, we 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 went up. Frex, yeah, ending. legend, yeah. We we done a we do, we do a one called Mira. It's like Mira, that's like Spanish for look. <laughs> look. Yeah. But you go pivot fakey and then you grab your front foot. You grab your front foot and pull your leg back like that. And then you go in fakey again. That's fucking me and Frex, man. That's the ginger army fucking move. <laughs> ginger <laughs> army general. Yeah. But um I don't think I'll be able to do it today, but I fucking yeah. hell. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll find out. But I think uh on that note, that was a nice little catch up. Yeah, yeah. We'd um yes, boys. we'd love to keep it going. For longer, but obviously this. Oh, I wish I was here. I wish I was in Derby longer. I've been here for. But you're only years. down the road, so yeah. I mean, anytime, anytime, you wanna, anytime you want to come shut down that ramp. Yeah, I'd like to skate that one. Be good, yeah. big mark. Could come down again, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe that we were talking about Tim's ramp jam mm. in October. We're doing that. Yeah, piss take on Jim's ramp yeah, jam. Like I might be carnage. away in October right. unless you do it after the 22nd. I'm Get going back, back to Massachusetts. Just love America. Yeah, like. Just being there, it's just it's fucking, right, isn't it? well, it's just rad, like America. I remember when I came back from America and some guy, some guy, I'm going to mention his fucking name because he's an asshole. But I said, uh, <clears throat> how did you, how did you find the American people when you lived over there? And I went, I thought it was brilliant, mate. It was an eye opener. It's it completely is. different fucking other side yeah, of the world, mate. Makes skate. Like, and I enjoyed myself. I thought very good. People were nice. And he says, I he said, I generally thought that I never got on with ninety eight percent of the people there. And I says, you know, I think it was maybe you then. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking twat. If you've got a problem, <laughs> if you that's the thing, though, isn't it? Like, if you've got a problem Fuck's with, sake, that, imagine going traveling somewhere and then not get along with anybody. Any, you're fucking hell. It's no Scotland, is it? Fuck. I mean, if you've got a problem with everyone, the problem's probably yourself. Yeah. You know, totally. It's hundred percent. So, um, yeah, we... basically, don't be a problem for yourself and get on with yeah. everyone. But uh, Should we wrap this up? Are, so you, do are you doing the wrap-up? Lord, Lord yeah. Div. We just want to thank you concrete. for being here. Yeah, man. It's, um, Big ups, good to yes, see you. Yes, obviously, always a pleasure to run into you. And if you want to get filming... Yeah, let's try and do something. Happy. Yeah? Let's try and get a bit of stuff. And then, uh, you know what? Let's 
let's get we'll let Div say roll the credits. So in, two, true, yeah, roll in credits. true Toby roll fashion, it. Roll, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll the credits. Thank you very yeah, much. There we go. See you soon. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Fuck right. yeah, Div.